Welcome to Oxy's Minecraft Survivor Cast Assessment. This is where we are going to go over the cast, talk about their personalities, talk about how they applied, talk about what who they are basically. And in this video, we're going to take a look deeper into the cast. We've never done this before, so hopefully it goes well. And we'll start off right now. Ty. Ty is a good guy, but one of his drawbacks is that he's very nervous. This one is a hit or miss with being an alliance because he beats himself up if something doesn't go his way. I'm I'm pretty confident about you know the, the people here. Uh, I hope I don't get in either Jaden or uh, or Miner's a team because or tribe because we've had we've had a rough past. Timo. Timo is also a hit or miss. He can play a very good game, but his challenge does might get him voted out. Um, my name is Timo. I like League of Legends. And that's basically the only thing that makes me stand out from anybody else. Just find a strong alliance early. Like if there's if there is a swap, I want us to be on different sides because then if we do manage to pull it off. My original alliance will be in such a powerful position because obviously if we survived, we would have formed bonds with everyone, like from the other original tribe. Cosmic. He is a big member of the community, and I feel that a lot of people will be rooting for him, but his status in the community might get him booted early. Okay, so this is my third big time survivor. So I've been around the block, I know how this game works, I now know all the strategies, I know how everything can sort of flip and turn around. So from my previous experiences, I reckon that my strategy is just to stay under the radar until a time comes to where I, if I can take power, I can use the opportunity to boost myself in the tribe or whatever like that. But um, as I said, the, the f ends up to, you know, start talking to people, get to know people, and then see if I can make some clean alliances that will last me to the end. Miner. Miner basically has the same voice as me, Oxy. But Meyer's strategy, he keeps it very secretive, and he thinks with his head. He may get far in the game, but who knows, this is Survivor. Uh, well, so, uh, I'm Miner, or Joseph, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it really depends on my, uh, what kind of people I'm playing with, because I haven't gotten a good chance to look at these people, but some of these two people look like a strong competitors that will put up a good fight. Who I feel is more of a threat, and I do want to feel like I want to take out those threats. Zebra is very good at voicing his own opinion. He won't stop at nothing to tell someone where they stand and what they're doing in the game. This might get them booted early, but who knows. Um, looking at everybody here, they all have their reasons to be here, so of course they got selected. Um, so I have to be careful with who I team with, who I, like, who I work with in general, and hoping that I get a good tribe so we don't have to always be like in tribal. Because I would rather, um, I would rather have a good challenge like good be good in challenges and keep the team safe and like not have my li my life get put on the line odin odin is a very controversial person but if you get highs in your feelings he has a shot at going farther in the game nobody really knows this but odin is actually my neighbor so i guess that's a plus hi my name is odin and um <clears throat> so pretty much my strategy is like i've already shown myself a little toxic like i guess um, I don't have to find, but I have like a confederate cape or whatever, so people may think that I'm like toxic or whatever, so I'm just gonna try to like take it chill from now on, you know what I mean? <coughs> and, um, not be like a super aggressive player. Jaden. Jaden, being one of the only few girls in the season, she'll have to overcome a lot. If she lays low during pre-merge and don't let people get the best of her, she'll get very far in the game. Okay, um... I'm happy that I'm in this season, and I hope that I have a pretty good tribe so I can get at least to merge in the game. Aquatic is an interesting character, but he is a little over the edge. If he can keep his feelings intact, he may be able to win. So arriving on this unknown island is a, is a double feeling, like I'm pretty excited, but at the same time, I don't know what I am expecting this season. I don't have an open strategy just yet. I don't know who I'm playing with and who is actually going to be playing the game. So hopefully my strategy just to be a social butterfly. Maxella. 
Maxello really lags a lot, which isn't really good in this game, but will people keep Maxella due to the loyalty and the trustworthiness that Maxella shows? Joey. Joey is very quiet. He's one of the quiet people in this game, and this can really set him back. But will he come out and make his own moves? We will have to see. Breakfast. Breakfast is quite an interesting character. He stays quiet and keeps the strategy to himself, which is a good quality, but if you don't voice your opinion, nobody's gonna see everyone's gonna see you as a floater. So will Breakfast be labeled as one of these? Or will he make his own moves and get far in the game? Well well, so far in this cat, there's multiple people that I like and two people that I know would be social and um, just social threats. Jaden and Timo will be a threat in my back. Bronco. Bronco is a very straightforward guy. He's also very well known in the community. And th he may use this to his advantage. We'll have to see. Hey, my name's Bronco and you know I'm a pretty I'm a pretty fun, outgoing kind of dude. And uh, you know, my strategy going into this game is to just kinda make solid alliances and then, you know, I guess when the time comes just break them off and go our separate ways and eventually backstab them and get to the end. Jedder. Jedder's very confusing. He sometimes is very confused, but he is one of the most interesting characters to watch. Okay, I'm watching Bob Ross. Bob Ross is great. Um, uh, am I supposed to talk about myself or what? Oh, uh, uh, uh I'm Danish and, um, uh, I'm weird. Shay. Shay is the really sassy type. This might rub some people the wrong way and get her brought out early, or she might use this to her advantage and manipulate and control people in a way that we haven't seen yet. Okay, um, so to be honest, this cast is, um, <laughs> very questionable. We have quite a few holes. We have some really annoying people and some egotistical assholes. And then there's me. <laughs> this is definitely going to be an interesting game. Um, I hope to either get voted out or kill myself before the end because I cannot last 39 days with these types of people. It's social suicide. And finally, Toe. Toe is very new to the game. But he knows how to play the game of Survivor. He's barely had Minecraft for a little bit, but he's very reserved. But... He's also willing to do big moves and make things happen in the game. Okay, so I'm ready to do anything that's necessary to get far. I'm not afraid to make people mad. I don't care about their feelings getting hurt. Why are you betraying me? Why? Like, shut up, you pathetic human. I don't really care what I do in this game as long as I don't come off as uh, pathetic myself. Who will come out on top as the sole survivor? Who will out outlast all of the rest? Who will outwit and outplay the other 14 contestants? Watch the series to find out on Minecraft Survivor Changing Worlds.